episode 17 of the podcast, Cappy's Cage. What up? It's February 3rd. Late night, but I'm going to post this up in the morning because I got something on my mind. And the title of the podcast is Showcasing. The key word now, the trigger word for all parents of youth amateur baseball players and the players themselves at younger ages, love the word showcase. So the powers that be understand that, and a lot of people are exploiting parents and, and their resources and misleading kids into attending showcases. Um, and I will preface what I'm, a, you know, what I'm about to say with that I believe showcases are good for certain players at a certain point in your career. Without a doubt, there's great showcases. And I advise kids when they're ready to go to some of these showcases. And there's some very good well-run events that bring in, you know, a lot of college coaches, a lot of evaluators, and therefore, in turn, get the kids' exposure. Now, the beef I have is with these people leading parents on to believe that a showcase would be good for a 10-year-old or an 11-year-old or a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old and I guess even though there's some different variables that go into it, you know, 14 and under, I think the word showcase should not be in anybody's vocabulary, parent or, or kid. Um, I just don't think there's any point behind it. Um, for one, you know, showcases in general are an avenue to show your tools. Um, it's kind of like your measurables, you know, how hard you might throw. So velocity, how fast you might run a 60 yard dash and maybe a few rounds of BP. And if you're lucky, face some live hitting pitchers throw off the mound. And if you're really lucky, maybe you play a game or a scrimmage or something of the sorts. But either way, for a 10, 11, 12-year-old kid to go through that combine-style showcase that just a short time ago was really only reserved for major league prospects uh, in the draft. And then, you know, the business people found a way to exploit it, and it trickled down into high school with the college ranks, and now it's trickling down to a uh, ridiculous level of, of young kids who are presented with these options from people to sign up and pay money for a combine style showcase for, you know, as young as 10 year olds and uh, shame on those people. That's ridiculous. You've lost your minds. Um, you know, no one should be out there judging a 10, 11, 12, 13-year-old, 14-year-old on how fast they may be running or their size, their physical stature, or their velocity on a radar gun. I think that's ridiculous. So it's here. It's something to confront. Uh, parents ask me all the time, I get sent text messages and emails and screenshots of some of these invitations that are being run throughout my part of the country, which is, you know, southwest part of the country. But I'm sure it's everywhere, just like a lot of this nonsense. So it's a topic of discussion. And I think it's a complete waste of money to enter in any kind of showcase 14 or under, and I'd hate to even put like a fine line age date because there are some different things. If I, if I have a 14-year-old and, you know, he's an extreme physical, 
you know, freak and can do something extraordinary, whether, you know, his arm strength or his speed or, you know, his, his power and his bat or something, you know, then there might be, might be a good case to go out there and get a jump, get a head start and, you know, start getting your name thrown around. But that's a, an extreme rare, rare case. Everything else is just being thrown out there to the parents to, to get their money. So, um, take note of that for sure, because that's, that's the truth. No one's getting a college scholarship when they're 11. No one's getting put down on some college coaches list when they're 12. Um, it's not happening. So save your money when it comes to showcases at that 14 age and, and, and below. You know, at 15, 16, 17, you know, it's fair to say those are kind of prime years, 15, 16, 17, leading into that senior year. But as we all know, by senior year, you know, a lot of decisions are made already. Um, there's not a ton of opportunity, yet there is still, you know, there is still hope for a senior to latch on with a certain level of college baseball. There's a lot of opportunity in that, in that sense. But um, so... You know, when it comes to those showcases, and like I started started the episode off with, there are some, some really good things, and there are some things that will benefit you, number one, when you're ready, uh, not only physically but mentally. Um, and, you know, and by ready, what I mean is you're ready to actually stand out and showcase your skills. So it's easy to throw around the word showcase like everybody puts on their literature to try to sell you something. Um, but it's hard to look in the mirror and say, am I ready to go to the showcase? Even at 15, 16, 17 years old, um, I certainly wouldn't want a, a position player who uh, might be at a real skill position to go out and, and run a terrible 60 yard dash time. When I know with six months of speed work that they could be much more presentable and make, make a big impact at that showcase. Um, or or a pitcher or a position player that might be lacking some arm strength, you know, why go out there and and not show well when you could be training, you know? So again, everybody gets ahead of themselves and and wants the result, which you know is this scholarship offer or something or this exposure, everybody wants that and everybody forgets about the path or the process to, to, to get your tools and get your skill set to the point where you're comfortable in showcasing it. And even in that 15, 16, 17 year old age group, I see a lot of times, you know, kids and parents jumping at these showcase opportunities, which if they're good enough, they need to, and they should, and I promote that. But if you're not good enough, you know, if you can't, if there's no tools to show, then people don't want to see that. So, you know, rewind a little bit and get back into training mode and increase your skill set, enhance your skill set, learn, make adjustments, you know, get in the gym in some cases, build your strength, build your flexibility up, range of motion. But most importantly, your skill set, your baseball skill set. So showcase, showcase, big word. Everybody's throwing it around. Um, it should not even be on your mind at all until you're 15. Flat out, without question. As we stand today, you know, that's... That's how strongly I feel about it. So if anybody were to argue that or tell you different, that a 11 or 12-year-old should be going to a showcase, have them call me. We'll talk it out. But that never happens because those people are driven by other intentions rather than helping people. So, you know, basically they're just trying to get your money. So hopefully I can talk some sense into not saying that in a negative way. I, I look at it like just trying to educate people and parents on the, the uh, 
you know, the journey that is either raising a, an amateur baseball player with high expectations or being a young player themselves. I think uh, being educated, and there's, I don't think there's enough people doing that. A uh, very small amount of people with good intentions that are trying to educate people of some of the pitfalls that are out there. Some of the people that just don't have the intentions and they're just driven by money. And it's a money grab and it's become where there's so many events and showcases that with the travel and everything, it's literally ridiculous for parents to try to keep up with that pace. And when they do, there's one thing that's always lagging behind. There's one thing that's always forgotten about, and that's skill development, training, strength training, hitting, fielding, arm conditioning, and rest. So those are the things that are always left behind. Instead, it's travel, hotel room, tournament, showcase, travel. There's a, ti there's a time and a place for that. But earn your way to get to that level. Earn your way to get some of these invitations, not where they'll accept everybody that brings a check, but well, where they'll invite you based on your ability. And it's a very select. That's why I love like the area codes. Some of you guys are familiar with the area code games. How it's basically, you know, regional tryouts and then one big showcase tournament where they turn into, you know, games being played in Long Beach every August, I believe. What a fantastic way. But, you know, that's something where you're invited. And to my knowledge, they don't, they don't, it's free to the player. So they're not even charging money. So you know where their intentions are. Yes, they get sponsors and stuff, but their intentions are to showcase the best players in the country at a certain age level. Um, so, and not everybody's going to have that opportunity. And there might be some showcases where you, sh you have to pay and you should pay. But please make sure your skill set is ready to be showcased. Okay? In that 15, 16, 17 age group, you know, go to that stuff. But don't go if you're not ready. All right? And don't forget about training, learning adjusting, experimenting, developing your strength, flexibility. Those are the most important things. That's all I got. I think I kept it kind of short. Showcase, showcase. How about train, train, train. Learn, learn, learn. And when you're ready, the opportunity will present itself to showcase what you can do to the right people. That's all I got. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back soon.